Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I, a few weeks ago I did a video uh, showing the tour of how I set up the minivan. And I think I may have mentioned then that I was, I was sure I'd make some tweaks to it. Uh, what I did not expect at that time was how soon I would make a little adjustment that would have a big impact on my experience here in the van. And so I made that adjustment just yesterday uh, from when I'm recording this, and I was just so impressed with the difference it made that I decided to shoot a quick uh, little video here to update you, show you, because it really made a big difference in my experience here. Uh, how this came about, I was watching a video a few nights ago on YouTube, and in, in the related, uh, you know, suggested content, it popped up a video on a minivan build uh, from Cody at Fantastic Living. And I hadn't seen any of his videos before, uh, but I, I, you know, was in a Nissan Quest minivan, so I checked it out. I wanted to see how it was done. And while C Cody's build was more uh, involved than I, I want to get into, for example, it had cabinets all the way up in the back and the side, all the way up to the roof, um, and I don't want to get into anything like that. One thing that was interesting was that his bed was in the same position in that it was along the uh, driver's side wall, front to back. But where I had mine positioned against the back of the van, his was positioned against the driver's seat. And then he has storage on the end. Now, the reason that was significant to me, because it's only a difference of a foot or a foot and a half, depending on the van and where the bed's positioned. But... I had left my, I had done it that way thinking it was leave me access from my side door still on the driver's side because um, this van has sliding doors on both sides. And what I discovered is that, you know, that foot or so gap between the end of the bed, the driver's seat, the battery box there, I didn't use it. It wasn't even useful. Um, so by sliding the bed forward, uh, it does two things. One, uh, as, as Cody pointed out in his video, it provides a backrest. You can use the, the seat back uh, as a basically a backrest if you want to sit on the bed. Uh, but it also changes your storage dynamics on the end of the thing, which allowed me to move everything around. So uh, the first build out I had, it worked, it was functional, but it was too cluttered for my liking. And I felt like it was just too crowded. So just by making, sliding the bed forward, the battery's under the bed now, and then I'm able to change the storage in the back, and it just made things so much more open. So I'll give you a quick look at it, and you can see what I mean. You can see the uh, now the bed is moved up all the way against the uh, back of the driver's seat. And then as we go back... What it does is opens up more room in the back for storage behind it. Um, the plastic bin that was turned sideways is now against the uh, back door. And I still have storage underneath here. Uh, you can see in the front there is the battery box and there's the charge controller hanging on the side. Uh, and then my food box. Um, because of the way the legs are set, I couldn't put two plastic totes in there. Um, with a battery box so I've moved my clothes into that black duffel bag and the red duffel bag has some memorabilia and, and things and the one on the end is just a little tote on the end is just some uh, miscellaneous household type stuff um, but it just opens it up in here in a, in a real big way um, and then I still use, you know, basically I have like some kitchen stuff in there and some, uh, you know, personal effects there and it's just some miscellaneous storage on the bottom. But it's just so much more open and uncluttered back there now just by making that change because I could fit, uh, move more things around to the end. Okay, so looking at the van from the back, you can see on, on the side here we have the... Um, back of that drawer unit that's not actually um anything i can access from the back it just is there uh, then i have uh in the middle here i have some tools 
and then uh you know so, some above that i have a little day pack that i use for hikes and on the side is just some automotive type stuff mostly oils and the tire compressor that sort of thing an extension cord and extra flashlight tucked down there uh, so nothing real uh, exciting this way it's just the things are easier to get to but the real big deal is inside because it's just so much more open and has so much more space now so i hope you enjoyed that quick update tour of the van uh, it's just amazing to me how sometimes one little change can make such a huge difference so i guess my my uh encouragement you to be if you're in a van or getting ready to get into a van or any or even an suv or anything you know don't be afraid to experiment a little bit and to try out different things uh, to move things around because in this case I moved the bed about a foot and that just changed all kinds of other things I could do and just made it just such a big difference for me in terms of may opening the van up making it more comfortable and less cluttered and and giving me more room so fantastic improvement from just one little thing and of course it, 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 even to this, you know, I found the tip from another uh, another van dweller on YouTube. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's you never know where you're gonna find your tip that helps you out. It gives you an idea, and then just you know, be willing to try things out because it it often takes a couple times to get things right. You know, uh, to get them where you want them. So, don't be afraid to try that. And I hope you enjoyed this quick update, and we'll see you in the next video.